Looked like you had a lot of food in your pockets. What? No, that's not true. This jacket never had any pockets. This is the style. Oh, my God. You did think I was poisoning you. I mean, you were the one who said he spent every day in prison dreaming of the day we'd meet again. So I can prove to you I changed. You said you put something extra in my food. Love. You said it's so creepy. Look, tone is everything, man. I've been talking to a cinder block wall for the last 10 years. I'm sorry if my social skills leave something to be desired. That is a really good explanation. Everyone lunch. Well, then explain why she has an email from her dated two weeks ago, subject Raymond Holt. Mm-hmm. Peralta, why don't you read that email aloud? for everyone. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Wait a minute, why would you love that? This is gonna be bad for me, isn't it? Amy, you read it. No. I'll do it, Jakey. Oh, the old Charles is back. <sighs> Julia, we've never spoken. Mm, four words in and it's already pretty bad for me. But your transfer to the 9-9 is a foolish one. Your dysfunctional precinct, commanded by a rancid old prune, Raymond Holt. But in recognition of your exemplary service, I will honor your wishes once. But then, why are you at the 9-9? I'm here for you. Yeah! <laughs> because you're my hero. I am off today. You overcame so much to become a captain, it made me feel like I could accomplish anything. So when the chance came up to work with you, I jumped at it. But why not just tell me that? Because you were so down about being in uniform, I didn't want it to come across as pity. Ah, well, what a sweet and thoughtful moment, which would not have been possible without my meddling. How dare you try to weasel out of this when the love of my life is splattered all over that room? The chair? Get her name out of your mouth! Her name is the chair? I warned you! Do you think things will be weird, Captain Kim? Nah, she's so perfect. I'm sure she's already moved past it and we'll have a great year together. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Kim asked for an immediate transfer. She is no longer part of the 9-9. What? She said she respected you all, but there was obviously too much history here, and she'd always feel like an interloper. Oh, man, you guys, I almost feel like this is all my fault. Agreed. What? You encouraged me. You kept saying, mm-hmm. I was going through something difficult. You have no excuse. He's kidding. Hey, trust me. Dana wasn't buying her own drinks, you know? No. Hold on. Hmm. I need to deal with this. Let's take a five. Or I could keep this interview going solo. Of course. I'm sure that'll be um, very helpful. All right. Where should we start a ruski? Hey, don't you think maybe we should just wait till your boss comes back? Uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because you're scared. You know I'm playing hardball, except for that the balls are questions. And here they come. What kind of car did Robert drive? Also, Dana from the bar, what color was her hair? And which night does the cleaning crew sterilize your office? And have you ever been up to where the body was found? And when you left your phone at the office, was it plugged into your computer or an outlet? And did you kill him? And what did your cab driver look like? This seems like a huge waste of time, but here you go. Robert drove a sob, Dana's hair was blonde and sterilized on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I haven't been to Vernon in 20 years. The phone was plugged into the wall. No, I didn't kill him. And the cab driver had a beard and the earring. I'm sorry I didn't get his license number. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah. You didn't fall for my did you kill him gambit. No. Although it is interesting that you knew the body was found in Vernon, New York, when that information hasn't been released to the public. Well, hello, Dolly. Oh my God, what is happening? I've gotten mad, and now I'm getting even. Okay, look, sir, I know you're upset, but you need to stay calm and treat this like any other case. I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but now is not the time to go all John Wick. Who's that, a friend of yours? <sighs> I wish, but he's not a real person. He's a movie assassin that goes nuts when someone messes with his dog. Then call me John Wicks, because I'm about to go nuts. It's Wick, singular, and you already did go nuts. It cost us the trace, remember? Look, I need you to focus. The kidnapper texted his demands. How much does the bastard want for my little doggy? Oh, that's just it, he doesn't want money. He requested all the files we worked from May 2004. It's a lead. He's got to be connected to one of those cases somehow. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Mm. Grenades. Just please stop it. I'm gonna take Kevin to the park where Cheddar was kidnapped and look for clues. I need you to stay here, go through those files, and put together a list of potential suspects. Can you do that? Okay, fine. I'll go through the files. Great. You realize I can't leave until you put the grenades back, right? Oh, but you let John Wicks have grenades. It's Wick. Singular. <laughs> What are you gonna say next, that you read to relax? <laughs> uh, my PD, hands up! Oh yeah, we got him. Disrupted your cycle. Right, yes, that is a very real possibility. Santiago, uh -huh. what's going on here? Is everything okay? Yeah, totes. Right, Rosa? Uh, totes. Why is everyone being all weird today? Just get back to work and be normal. Yes, sir, we'll do, we'll be normal. Nothing to stress about here. <laughs> hey, fuzzy paws, I'm paying you to work, not lick your butthole. Yeah, I'm gonna get your pregnancy test.